All right, we're gonna be taking a little walk here. We are in Tucson, Arizona, and it is a beautiful day out. Uh, it's probably gonna get a lot hotter, but today I'm gonna be talking about my grandpa, which is a little different, but different uh, topic than usual. Um, I'll show you the view. That's the view. Um, there's mountains in the background here. We might just stay over here, honestly, because that's pretty nice. It's um, pretty nice view. I guess we can sit down a little bit. So, so why did I take a train cross country, uh, went through all America, and uh, I, I know that sounds, dude, I'm like still surprised at it. But um, it, was, it was mostly because of my grandpa. Uh, my, yeah, my grandpa. Uh, and that's kind of also why I like nature so much uh, too. So basically when I was growing up, I have two other siblings. I had two other, two other siblings and we always uh, took weekend trips, weekday trips. Uh, when we were probably about seven years or younger, probably like five years old, I remember the most. But we used to take these trips up to my grandparents' land, and they lived on a pretty pretty nice area. Um, so, you know, we would just hang out. We would mess around. We would literally go all over the forest. We would literally go all throughout the forest and just mess around. And it was just like, it was kind of remote, but not really remote. Uh but it was uh, like enough to have fun. And um, so there were like small cliffs, rocks, uh, there was a creek, and there was a railroad that kind of cut off the land, or well, it just ended the land. But this was the most fascinating thing because we weren't really meant to go over that line, but uh, we did anyways. And it was just like, you know, the mounds, the mounds of trains, it's just so much fun to get up there and we would like spend, we would spend hours, literally, literally, we're gonna wait for this plane to pass. Um, this train, so this train, you know, we would spend hours there collecting rocks, getting rocks. We would, we would bring rocks back to the house sometimes, uh, find cool rocks, find big rocks. We would throw the rocks in the river and you know, um, there was a small little river really close to it too and that was super fun but you know i always we always saw the train pass or we always heard it and usually sometimes i was the most interested about the train so i would uh run down all i would run all the way down from the house to the train tracks just to see the train and i don't know i think i may have taken photos of it but i don't think that was the main goal um but other times other times it was just chasing the train, getting on the train. I mean, I uh, probably went probably like a fourth of a mile on the train or a quarter of the mile on the train, um, riding on the train, which isn't the best idea. I would not recommend that. Um, but, you know, we just had fun and spending time up there really made me appreciate, appreciate nature a lot more than I... I think I otherwise would have and my grandpa was just like this he just loved nature so much and he would always he would always like show us different stuff and uh, my parents my mom was at least the same way uh, we would take occasional hikes around the area uh, just around like the paths and stuff and you would see deer bats a bunch of chipmunks and stuff and it was just great but the train now back to the train so um, so I, I've always asked a bunch of questions about trains, you know, um, kind of what also blends into that is my other grandpa, but, uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but, you know, I always ask questions like, like who, like if my parents have, had ridden trains and I, they didn't, they didn't ride a train, even though there was a train going straight through really close to their land and it was just it didn't make any sense to me like what 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 does a train being on a train feel like like you're just there and 
you know, now that now that I've ridden a train, it seems kind of obvious. Oh yeah, this is what happens. But um, it's just like I don't even know. Uh, now on to my father's grandparents' side. So my dad is actually kind of obsessed with trains, and I think that's also partially why I wanted to do this. Um, basically, him and my dad's grandpa are both obsessed with trains, like automotive, um, locomotive, uh, locomotive uh, machines. So every year during Christmas, most years during Christmas, my dad would get out the mechanical train set and we would put it around the train, with the tree, and it would just spiral around the tree. And my grandparents had a bigger one, but this one was automated, so it just go round and round and round. And it kind of didn't work with pets, but it kind of worked. But, you know, I've always been around trains. I think, let's see, you know, uh, another thing is Thomas the, the Train. I didn't really watch it that much, I don't believe, because uh, I, don't, I don't remember any of the characters, but I remember seeing it too. Um, my dad was also is also obsessed with the uh, Polar Express, so he loves that vi movie to death. And you know that I mean, I kind of like the video. Like I kind of like the movie, but I kind of have to like the movie because my dad like talks about it so much. But uh, that's kind of where I wanted to ride this train. So I never really said, oh, I want to ride a train someday, or that was like a goal of mine. Uh, it was just curiosity, basically, that uh, made me want to go on a train. But I will tell you now about, uh, so fast forward, probably about 10 years or so, you know, I am uh, running out of options. I tried Airbnbs, I tried staying with friends. I tried looking up leases, I tried signing leases, and uh, I was uh, stuck at work. I couldn't uh, leave my work. Uh, work was pretty far away from everything else, and where I lived for work, or where I went to work was uh, pretty expensive. So, um, and then the virus, COVID happened so everything's closed down that that was the main that's the that was the main issue here i feel like for most things uh airbnbs leases uh stuff like that was all corona related and if you didn't know i got kicked out of my house so that happened before everything and so you know i was running out of options and uh i don't know what clicked what uh what i was thinking but i messaged my friend uh, drifting photos because I remember he had a train photo and I kind of I didn't think of traveling the US but I I had um, an idea where I could just go I could just go somewhere else um, and live cheap like Nevada or somewhere somewhere where I could get a cheap Airbnb, Airbnb instead of in Madison um, and then I thought train I don't know how I thought train. I didn't even think of plane, I don't think. Because um, plane was just out of the picture, too expensive. Uh, plane was also, uh, plane airlines also went down in like, uh, plane airlines also were kind of risky for coronavirus. So I didn't take a plane. I didn't want to take, or I didn't even think of taking a plane because they'd just be too expensive for uh, the trip I was doing. But, uh, the train. I asked my friend uh, what train he rode in Canada because another thing about this is my roommate, my college roommate, he took a train in Europe and he was talking so much about the trains in Europe. Um, so I decided to look up Amertrak and Amertrak, I looked up the, uh, the map routes and it went throughout all America. And I was incredibly surprised, and I had no idea what the price was, but I was interested in looking into it. So I got my, so I got a rail pass, a 30-day rail pass for 12 segments, and uh, it was, yeah, it was amazing. Like, it was probably about the same price I would have paid for rent, which was absolutely amazing as well. And, you know, 
since then, it's just been a great time. Um, so yeah, so that's basically why I rode the train. You know, there's more to the story, I think, and I will be doing separate videos on that. Uh, what I think of actually riding the train, but uh, I'm happy that I did it actually. Uh, and it's not over. I think I have one more trip and we should be done. So uh, if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe, turn that notification uh, bell icon on, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you guys for watching.